Nestled in the heart of central Wisconsin lies Stevens Point, the perfect town for a day trip adventure. Whether you want to try suds or spuds, or pursue scholastic opportunities or sculpture, this town has endless places to explore. This is going to be one heck of a tour when you're sampling before the tour. Thanks for joining us on another Love Nesters adventure. Hey, today we're going to explore Stevens Point, Wisconsin. Welcome to the channel. We are so glad that you found it. We're looking forward to showing you all around this great small town. Including a brewery tour. A university tour. And some beautiful hikes. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being here. We're going to get things started with a brewery tour. Even if you don't have time for a tour, we recommend stopping at the company store for some great prices on their product. Nope, this is a cookies and cream stout. Uh oh, chug. Yes. Cannonball. Cannonball. I actually do taste the cookies and cream in that. That's crazy. You can taste the cookies. I can. I absolutely taste like Oreo. And then this is a Cider Boy Pineapple Hula. This is going to be one heck of a tour when you're sampling before the tour. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> this is coming with. This is really, really good. <laughs> wow. Oh boy. Oh boy. We are lucky enough to get the number one rated tour guide, Alex. Thanks for giving us this tour, <laughs> Alex. Uh, we got founded in 1857 by two German immigrants named Frank Wall and George Ruder. Uh, but this 1857 founding is actually one year before the official founding of the city in 1858. So I do like to tell people that the city was founded on beer, but that's not here nor there. Shortly after ordering all 36 of these tanks, having to show up on a front doorstep, we discovered they were not going to fit through that big door right there. And in fact, we cut this gigantic hole in our ceiling and then started craning all 36 of these tanks in from above. So, <laughs> long week at the brewery. This area now is where we make all the soda, so it is kind of this reserve for all that soda production because it's a shorter process. But in here, since it is a shorter process, we should be able to produce in between three to five different sodas in here in one day if we really, really wanted to. But these are also our beer tasters and testers, the people legally allowed and paid to drink on the job while they're here. These tanks contain their pilot series, where they are experimenting with new flavors before they are released. The cost of this tour was very reasonable, and the price not only included a very nice souvenir beer glass, but samples. And what we really appreciated is you could take these samples to go, in bottle form. UW Stevens Point. It's just a beautiful campus. It's actually the very first conservation campus in Wisconsin and maybe even in the whole United States. We'll look that up for you. Oh, here we got a student right ahead of us. Excuse me, what year are you here? Are you a freshman? Oh. I was redshirted. 
Oh, we got. for the balance beam. We got. <laughs> <laughs> The University of Stevens Point actually has a free conservatory. It's located in the Chemistry and Biology Building, and it's free. Did we say free? There's fruit and birds in here, and there's some students studying, so we have to be quiet. Welcome back to Love Nesters. We're at the University of Wisconsin Stevens Point. We love touring college campuses. This one has a conservatory that's free to the public. If you're enjoying our adventures, we'd sure appreciate it if you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for being here. The Dreyfus University Center, named after former Governor of Wisconsin, Lee Dreyfus. The public square in downtown Stevens Point is home to Wisconsin's longest running farmer's market. They have vendors outside from May to October. There's an indoor farmer's market that then runs November through April. And of course, Saturday is the day when you would expect the most activity. While you are downtown, there are plenty of murals to check out. This artwork was done by Alexander Landerman in 2015. This mural is right on the side of the, the cozy kitchen. We have Terry Porter, number 30. He played for the UW Stevens Point Pointers, played for the Portland Trail Blazers. He's a coach for many different teams. Terry Porter, Division Three Superstar. The Food and Farm Exploration Center is a sprawling 24-acre space, both indoors and out, on the brink of welcoming visitors like you. Here you'll embark on an experience that helps to connect us with food right from the farm to our fork. When open, you'll be able to explore interactive displays on farm technology, step into well-equipped cooking areas, and so much more. And as we got a sneak peek inside, the star of the show awaited us outside, the world's largest potato masher, proudly on display for all to see. Of course there's a reason that the world's largest potato masher is on display. Did you know that Wisconsin plays a major role in the U.S. potato market? As a matter of fact, I did. It holds the impressive rank of third in the nation for total potato production. And guess what? The very county we were exploring happens to be the top potato producing county in Wisconsin. Say that three times. <laughs> As luck would have it, we found a farmer in the midst of harvest. They generously allowed us to film the machines at work in the sorting process. The machines were extraordinary. They skillfully separated rocks, corn cobs, and other lighter materials from the potatoes, ensuring that only the right size, perfect ones would hit the market.
These carefully sorted potatoes find their temporary home in a colossal temperature-controlled warehouse before being packaged and sent out. Oh, I love me some fiberglass. This is Buttercup. She is 10 feet tall and weighing in at 900 pounds. Ooh, this is what we came for, the fresh curds. We're about to taste the cheese curds. The cheese comes directly from Feltz Family Farms in Stevens Point. You can get fried cheese curds here or you can get the fresh squeaky kind. Uh, we went with the fried curds to support our diet. Oh my gosh, yum, yum, yum. Mm. Oh my God. There's the right amount of salt in those, which is fantastic. It's perfect. So here at Feltz's Family Farm, you can really make a day of it. There is a corn maze, there's a petting zoo, there's lots of activities for the kids, or you can come here like we did to eat. The ice cream is fantastic, the cheese curds are fantastic, and there's lots of farm products you can buy while you're here. Look, <laughs> you're too busy eating. Our goal is to go to the sculpture park, but it also connects, the sculpture park also connects to the Green Circle Trail, which is a major trail that goes around Stevens Point. Isn't that beautiful? Nicholas get off titled this sculpture obstacles this was created in 2017. roger skrzowski senior created this sculpture in 2014 it is titled tenayap that's point spelled backwards <laughs> crazy nut world famous stevens point sculpture tour Who doesn't like a good sculpture tool? Beautiful walk. Riley Fitcher from Baraboo, Wisconsin created this in 2015. It is called Wait and Agony. Ooh. <laughs> This is called Outhouse in the Sky, number two. This is called Wired. Kind of looks like a tornado. This is Rapunzel's Tower. There's a wide variety of exhibits here, and it seems like they have been adding new ones. I thought I was stepping into a Harry Potter set for a second. The centaurs. Harry Potter, you are a friend. So many great hiking trails in Stevens Point, including the one we're on. This is the sculpture park and it gives you a chance to get your wacky art fix at the same time that you're taking a walk and the leaves are falling. What a great place to be, Stevens Point, Wisconsin. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being here. It's home to a brewery and some places. Uh, the hey, there are so many wonderful trails in Stevens Point, including this one. This is the sculpture park. 